vacation like a VIP in these lavish retreats. As election day nears, hotels across the country are getting into the spirit by showcasing opulent presidential suites. Equipped with every comfort imaginable, these upscale accommodations feature well crafted amenities fit for a president, or royalty for that matter. Regardless of your party affiliation, these favorite 10 hotels and resorts of past commanders in chief are perfect for a special occasion. The Sea Island Suite at the Cloister at Sea Island, Sea Island, Georgia, favorite of past U.S. presidents. The Sea Island Suite at the Cloister at Sea Island has long been a preferred lodging destination for political leaders to enjoy the southern hospitality of Georgia's Golden Isles. The Sea Island Suite features a secluded 2,200 square foot suite with a king bedroom, a library, a fireplace, and a balcony, among other features. Plus, the cloister's main building encompasses a sprawling range of buildings and amenities, including the Sea Island Yacht Club the 65,000-square-foot spa and a waterfront beach club, courtesy of the Cloister at Sea Island. The Peninsula Suite at the Peninsula Chicago Chicago perched the 18th floor of this hotel with sweeping views of Michigan and Chicago Avenues. The lavish 3,645-square-foot Peninsula Suite at the Peninsula Chicago lures bigwig politicians with its luxurious atmosphere and impeccable service. Here, guests can expect standout amenities, such as a spacious terrace with views of Lake Michigan, a baby grand piano and an outdoor whirlpool tub. The suite features three bedrooms and is housed in a wing of the hotel that's blocked off to other guests allowing for complete seclusion. What's more, guests of this suite enjoy complimentary access to a chauffeured Mini Cooper S Club man, courtesy of the Peninsula Chicago. The Fenway Park Suite at Hotel Commonwealth Boston Red Sox fans, rejoice! Hotel Commonwealth has long integrated its love for the Boston Red Sox into its hospitality. The hotel now offers a signature Fenway Park Suite ideal for high-powered politicians and consummate Red Sox fans seeking unique accommodations. Overlooking Fenway Park, the suite features original ballpark seats on its spacious walkout balcony. The interior is filled with Red Sox memorabilia, including a coffee table signed by many Red Sox players, tickets from 1946, 1967 and 1975 World Series games and even a Green Monster scoreboard courtesy of Hotel Commonwealth. The Raven's Nest Mountain Villa at Spring Creek Ranch Jackson Hole, Wyoming fresh mountain air adds to the appeal of the Spring Creek Ranch in Jackson Hole. The idyllic mountain retreat hotel combines the rugged spirit of the West with laid-back luxury, the perfect recipe for catching up on RR after a long election cycle. The sprawling property includes several outstanding mountain villa accommodations. A favorite is the Raven's Nest Mountain Villa, which covers 4,800 square feet and offers dramatic vistas of the Teton Mountain Range. The far-reaching mountain villa includes four bedrooms, a family area, a loft and a floor-to-ceiling stone fireplace, a large deck and hot tub, among other features, courtesy of Spring Creek Ranch. Signature Presidential Suites at the Arizona Biltmore, a Waldorf Astoria Resort Phoenix The legendary Arizona Biltmore, a Waldorf Astoria Resort has served as a storied playground for presidents over the course of U.S. history, welcoming everyone from George W. Bush to Ronald and Nancy Reagan for their honeymoon. The property's signature presidential suites offer luxury accommodations and plenty of privacy with an entire wing blocked off for security purposes. Overlooking the Phoenix skyline, Camelback Mountain or the resort's Paradise Pool, the the crowd-pleasing suites offer a sophisticated look with southwestern-style accents and a spacious balcony or patio. Plus, the resort offers plenty of superlative amenities, from an award-winning spa to seven tennis courts and two golf courses. Courtesy of the Arizona Biltmore a Waldorf Astoria Resort. The Ludlow Penthouse at the Ludlow Hotel New York City perched on the 17th floor, the Ludlow Penthouse captures the gritty, 
urban charm of Manhattan's Lower East Side with eclectic furniture and artwork. The 1,500-square-foot rocker chic space features pieces ranging from handmade Moroccan chandeliers to bronzed stools. This industrial pied a terre also boasts a full kitchen, a dining table that can accommodate six guests, an expansive living room, a skybox sitting area, two full bathrooms with rain showers and a large bedroom with a king-size bed. The penthouse's standout feature is its 1,000-square-foot outdoor furnished terrace, which extends along the side of the building, offering stunning views of the Brooklyn Bridge and beyond. Anish Lecter The presidential suite at the St. Regis Ball Harbor Resort Miami Beach, Florida frequently visited by world dignitaries and presidents, the St. Regis Ball Harbor Resort's opulent 2,800-square-foot presidential suite is located on the resort's 24th floor. Here, guests will discover a sophisticated living space, with a master dining room, a gourmet kitchen, a media room, marble bathrooms and two bedrooms. Plus, the suite boasts a large balcony with striking views of the Miami coastline. What's more, the town of Ball Harbor has one of the most upscale fashion shopping centers across the country, with an extensive collection of designer boutiques and restaurants. Courtesy of St. Regis Ball Harbor Resort The Royal Suite at the Intercontinental Los Angeles Century City Los Angeles featuring a wraparound balcony with views of the Pacific Ocean, Hollywood and Beverly Hills, the Royal Suite at the Intercontinental Los Angeles Century City offers a well-appointed living and dining area with resplendent coastal views. At 3,300 square feet, the Royal Suite offers lavish accommodations, complete with two bedrooms, a full kitchen, a wet bar, a private library and even a master bathroom with a rain shower. The public area is separated from the bedroom with its king-size bed by French doors. And aside from the luxurious digs, guests can get pampered at the full-service spa or take a relaxing dip in the resort's outdoor affinity pool. Courtesy of Intercontinental Los Angeles Century City The Thompson Suite at Thompson Seattle Seattle The new 12-story Thompson Seattle Hotel, located steps from the iconic Pike Place Market in downtown Seattle showcases its Thompson suite on the top floor of the hotel. Offering floor-to-ceiling windows and panoramic views of the city and Puget Sound, the suite highlights a mid-century modern style accents. Exposed steel and concrete, with an eclectic blend of modern and vintage furniture, think, artwork and shelving sourced from local artisans paired with leather and reclaimed wood fixtures, create an elegant atmosphere. Should you wish to slip away from your luxurious abode, The Nest, a trendy rooftop bar, offers striking vistas of the Olympic Mountains. Courtesy of Thompson Seattle The Governor's Suite at Big Cedar Lodge Ridgedale, Missouri Though not officially dubbed a presidential suite, the Governor's Suite nonetheless provides a noteworthy, and high-end, experience for its guests. The exclusive suite offers a quintessential Ozarks retreat with 2,500 square feet of living space. Inside the suite, guests have access to four bedrooms, including a master bedroom with a king bed, balcony and bathroom with a jetted tub, a full kitchen, a cozy living room with fireplace and a large balcony with gas grill and panoramic lake views. A grandiose wilderness resort in every respect. Big Cedar Lodge takes the concept of a turn-of-the-century Adirondack hunting lodge up a notch. Courtesy of Big Cedar Lodge